Gray Fossil Site, Johnson City, Tennessee, William Hovey Smith, 2012. I'm the author of Backyard Deer Hunting, but these people are really hunting something else. I'm Hovey Smith, the Backyard Sportsman, and I'm talking to Dr. Glenn Schubert. And we're here at the Gray Fossil Site near Johnson City, Tennessee. Uh, Johnson City is all about half a dozen miles uh, over there to the north of us. Now, this fossil site is very interesting in that you have all sorts of Miocene mammals that were originally trapped in the mud of sinkholes, and these fossils are magnificently preserved. What species do you have? We have red pandas, which are totally unusual here in North America. We have tapirs, we have alligators, rhinos, shovel-tusked elephants, a wide menagerie of different types of animals. Now, one thing you don't have here, at least you don't dig here, is this fellow, good old Triceratops. Uh, any dinosaur guy would recognize that. Why is he here in a museum of Miocene mammals? That's right. So most people, when they come into a natural history museum, they really want to see dinosaurs if they can. And so what we've done is we have a Triceratops in our exhibit hall that explains why we don't have dinosaurs and what the separation in time is between our animals and dinosaurs. It's about 60 million years, actually. All right. Now, you also work with materials from all over the country and actually from all ages and have a fair amount of Pleistocene material here, do you not? That's right. We excavate at cave sites all over this region. We do excavations up in Saltville, Virginia. So we, th we have things in this museum like mammoths, giant short-faced bears, a wide variety of animals from all over the world. All right. Now, if people want to find out more about the museum, how do they do that online? The easiest way is to just look up Gray Fossil Site. And what you'll find then is a link to our Natural History Museum. You can learn all about the volunteer programs, admission, new exhibits that we have. All of that's right there online. Well, this is really a magnificent museum and something very worthwhile to exhibit. Because they have full mounted skeletons. They have dioramas in the background so you can see what the real live creatures look like. And unique to the eastern part of the country, you can actually see them digging out in the backyard. Yes, sir. So if you're interested in doing a really interesting experience in eastern Tennessee, well, the Gray Fossil Site is certainly a place to put on your itinerary. Here is Dr. Schubert again inside the museum. Now behind him there you see a gator in the foreground, tapers in the background, and then a painting diorama. And they also have their rhino down there. And here's one of the jaws actually being prepared. Now they work on other stuff too. The little small jawbone in the foreground is of their red panda. This is my book, Backyard Deer Hunting. So I disassemble carcasses all the time, as do they. Now we also have crossbow hunting extreme muzzle loading, and practical bow fishing. The Gray Fossil Site and Museum has a rather long name. It is officially known as East Tennessee State University and General Shale Brick Natural History Museum. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Now, Dr. Schubert is the director. Now, for more information on my books, blogs, videos, and radio show, Hovey's Outdoor Adventures, you can go to my website, www.hoviesmith.com Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye and God bless.